Hi guys, so in this video I am rounding up my most worn summer pieces so far for this year. And I love making these videos several times a year because I love to look back and reflect on what items I have been wearing the most out of everything that I purchased. What are the pieces that I gravitate to towards the most? What are the easiest for me to style? What do I feel my best in out of everything I purchased? Because this helps me one, make better purchases in the future and second, also helps me develop my style. And I believe I have at least 12 items to share today that have been the most worn, that I get the most bang for my buck from and just pieces that I wear every single week in the summertime if not every single day and if you happen to be interested in anything I will have everything linked in the description box below for you guys if you wanted to check out anything okay so I gathered everything in just a big old box right here and I'm just gonna go through it and share with you guys what things I have been wearing the most and I first want to start off with uh, tees and tanks. I did purchase a lot of tees and tanks this year. I had some gifted to me from uh, several brands and then items I purchased myself. So the ones that I have been wearing the most is either from Uniqlo or from the brand Nudes. So I'm going to start with Nudes and actually I'm wearing this basic t-shirt from them. Uh, this is a new purchase. I literally just got this in and I'm throwing it on with this outfit. I so far really love this tee, but I'm going to review it more in a different video soon. But I want to talk about the tees and tanks here. So uh, the Nudes brand, I have been loving their scoop neckline bodysuits. Uh, this is how it looks like. It's a bodysuit. My only con with it is I wish it was a little bit longer in the torso. It's scooped in the front, scooped in the back, as you can tell. I'm wearing this in an extra small. What I love about it is that it's regular bra friendly, so the straps are thick enough to cover the bra straps, and the back is low, but it's just at the right length, so you can wear a regular bra with it and don't need to wear like a low back bra or anything like that. So I have this in black. I also have it in white, just two very basic classic colors, but they come in many other colors. The quality is fabulous. And then something that's a little bit more budget friendly that I have been loving wearing every single week, if not daily as well, are the Uniqlo ribbed tanks. So I have this one here and then I also have the scoop neckline version, but it is a very nice, a little bit more lightweight tank. I have these tanks in so many colors at this point. I probably own like close to 10 tanks from Uniqlo. Um, quality is great. The price point is a little bit more reasonable. I've been loving wearing them again with denim shorts or jeans and it just looks very crisp, sleek, and polished. So those are the tanks that have been the most worn for me this summer and I love all of them, recommend all of them. Some are a little bit more expensive, some are on the more affordable side. So Love them all, highly recommend all of them. They've been my most worn. Next up is a pair of shorts, which is these tailored shorts from Revolve have been most worn for me. And I love that these give that very sleek, minimal and polished look. I uh, love wearing these either with just basic tanks or something a little bit more elevated on top. Uh, they look great with slides or you can pair them with heels. These ones are a splurge. Uh, so I will link an affordable option down below from Abercrombie that looks really similar. Uh, but I love these because they're nice and uh, snug around the waistline and then they're loose around the thighs. I do suggest going up a size in these specifically because they do run small in the waistline. So going up a size is just gonna be a little bit more comfort um, in the waistline. Another denim short I've been loving is the Abercrombie 90s high rise. I've been sharing these all summer long so far. They fit really well. The quality is amazing. They hold up really well. They're just very simple and sleek. They don't have any distressing in them and they're just the perfect class classic pair of denim shorts uh, that are high-waisted. They're in that curve love fit, so they're really snatching in the waistline and then looser around the thighs. And they have a good amount of stretch to them. They're not like super duper stretchy, but they do have some stretch. They do have some give, which is another reason why I really like these shorts. Then another short that has been one of the most worn pieces of this year is actually a purchase I made last year, um, which is the Madewell Mom Jean short. And they brought these back this year. It's just the version this year is a little bit different. It has a little slit on the side. Uh, mine don't. So I think that's the only difference between them. But I have been getting so much use out of these again with just my basic tanks or something elevated on top. And I love the fit of these. They're a little bit on the shorter side, but they're not 
cheeky in the back. It still has all that booty coverage. There's just not as long as some of the other shorts I shared. And I love this color. I love how it's like a little bit more of a faded black. It's not like a crisp black, but it has a more vintage look to it, which is something I really like. And then actually another top that I have been wearing a lot this year uh, is this bow tie tank from Anthropology. Uh, I have to wash it. I don't know if you can see the little stain on there, but I've been wearing it so much because I love how it's something very basic and minimal, which is what I really like for my style, but it's elevated the bow detailing on the shoulders. It's just so girly, so feminine, so my style, and it just looks so beautiful on. It fits really well. It comes in petite, so I'm wearing it in an extra small petite, and it just looks so beautiful with the denim shorts that I've been sharing in this video, either with tailored shorts, linen shorts, denim shorts. It's a really good basic that's elevated to just spice up outfits a little bit. Next fashion item that's been worn so much already this year are my beloved Abercrombie Utility Romper. So I love this uh, like lighter khaki color. I've been wearing it so much that I have one of them waiting to be washed already, the black color, but I own these in three colors. So this beautiful khaki, the black, and then olive green. Uh, these are great mix between wearing something really casual and comfortable and practical, but yet it's still dressed up and elevated uh, because it has that utility design. Uh, it has a bow you can make on the waistline so it looks a little bit girly. It's very comfortable and really easy to wear. It's just an instant outfit you slip on and then you're good to go for the day. This comes in petite too. So I'm wearing it in a extra small petite. I would say it runs totally true to size. Next up is a denim jean. So if I'm wearing denim jeans in the summer, these a Goldie Riley jeans that I'm wearing right now has been the most worn so far. Um, I love this light wash color. It's very simple, very classic. I have a lot of other jeans that kind of have that more vintage look to it, but these I feel like are more of a classic blue which I really like. And the denim isn't so thick. It's a little bit thinner, but still like rigid and stiff, very flattering. So it doesn't really have any stretch. It's just a little bit of a thinner denim that I think works really well for summer. It has that nice straight leg fit. And I also have these jeans hemmed like an inch, just FYI. I did my safety pin hack with these jeans by the way, which I shared already many times. But anyways, I love these. They fit really well. I would say they're totally true to size. I'm wearing a size 24 in them. I love the color. They're just very classic and so flattering. Next up, a couple dresses that have been the most worn. So my favorite Abercrombie halter dress that I've been sharing so much. So anyways, not gonna go too much into it because I've been sharing this way too much lately, but this has been definitely the most worn this summer because it's very practical, very easy, very light, so, so comfortable. I just normally wear a strapless bra with this one. You can adjust it because it has ties right here. And I feel like the style of the dress works for so many different body types, which is great. So I feel like it's very size inclusive. I'm wearing a size small. It's smocked in the back, so it has some stretch back there. And that dress is actually really affordable. It's from Amazon. It gets under $40, like easily under $40. So it's Honestly, it's just such a good purchase, like a really easy dress to throw on for the summertime. And the next dress, it's actually a splurge. It's from Revolve. I've shared this already many times, but it's this off the shoulder white dress here. Uh, I love how romantic and girly and kind of flirty this dress looks mini dress and it's cinched at the waistline. It does come with a belt so you can make a little bow there and it's great for petites. It's above knee length for me and it just looks so flattering. I love the skirt and just like the stitching and design to it. It just makes it look a little bit more flirty, a little bit more romantic and kind of girly. Next up is this wonderful minimal straw bag that I have been wearing probably with every single outfit <laughs> that I've been wearing this year and I'm so glad I went with like the black leather i feel like it's just easier for me to style with pieces that i already have it has a cross body strap i just tucked it in here so you can wear it on your elbow like this you can wear it cross body style so it's wearable in multiple ways it has like this little pouch on the inside here where you can just stuff your things in there and then it has a drawstring to just tie it and keep everything secure in there okay and then a couple shoes that i wanted to share that have been the most worn so something that's 
probably the most practical thing ever, are a pair of flip-flops. I got these from Amazon and I never recommended flip-flops before because it was so hard for me to find like a really timeless minimal style. Um, and I found one finally and they don't break the bank either. Come in many colors. So I got the black strap here, but they also come in nude, beige, white. So different colors to choose from. They all look very minimal, very classic. These I just love to wear around the house or if I'm going to the lake, to the beach, pool, these are just great to throw on and they're very practical and wearable so love these then the last item that has been one of the most worn pieces in my closet are these slide sandals so they've been worn so much that i got them in two more colors so i have this brown color the black and then i've had this white color for three years now so anyways <laughs> it's kind of excessive having all three colors it's a little bananas i know but i just wear them so much that it was so worth it for me to grab two more classic neutral colors and i feel like i'm set so the black pair i feel like for shockingly they're more comfortable comparing it to the brown color even though they're the same style and everything the brown ones just need a little bit more time to break in but i had these white ones for three years i mean and they're broken in they're super comfortable now so they just take some time to break in and then they're absolutely wonderful to wear in the summertime all right, you guys, so that brings it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this recap of summer pieces that I have been wearing the most lately. As always, I'll have everything linked in the description box down below if you happen to be interested in anything. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!